one leg, or one arm in, one arm out. We have all the third here. So the first thing I need to do is go ahead and go straight back to, they want to get this arm across. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically get this hand back across over here to this bicep and center back up. All right? So no matter what's happening, center back up, push the arm. Because he wants to actually start changing his angle. Keeping him in front of us keeps him from breaking his angles and breaking our angles. So keep it straight. Keep it square right now. All right? Once we're here, the same concept we just learned. What do we do? We shifted our body, we blocked the hip, and then we went to top of the knee to straighten the leg. All right? So we're basically using the same thing. We can do it here. We're boom, we shift it to the side, break. All this is, this is closed guard with an arm and a head. That's all we gotta think about right now. Posture, posture, shift, block, block, straighten that knee. We're moving the same exact pattern. Nothing changes except now instead of hand on top or forearm on top of the knee, now we're going to top of the knee to straighten it out. And that pry point, push point still there. Just know, like I said, there's a lot of other attack. So it's very important to block, to shift, to frame this hip down, to frame it. Even if he's trying to walk up me right now, the top of the knee stops that. You see how I went straight there while he shifted his angle? He's trying to bridge up to get this arm across. So what we do is when we frame, he bridges up. That's our prior pivot, our bounding overwatch point. So we basically bridge, go ahead and bridge, pull that knee down, straighten the leg. A lot of people do this, what they end up doing is they'll try to pull out. And that's how they get set up, but they never posture up and then move the leg straight. Sometimes they'll grab it and all that, but that's kind of your good posture, good procedure. Boom here. If he angles, legs are long, you got the same option you just learned earlier, all in or all out. You can get both hands in, or he's not getting it, boom, just go ahead and fake his hand in. Snake it in, lock it, hold it. Now we have two in, two out, straight to the ground, spike elbow to the pass. So it's the same exact thing, but with one leg in the way. 